So, so no discussion about water balance is going to be complete unless we talk about water input, how it gets into the body, and water output, how water is lost by the body. So let's do input first of all. And the way that water gets into the body is through the digestive system. It is through, obviously, the water or the drinks that we drink, but it's also the food that we eat. Food contains water. So food and drink through the digestive system. It gets absorbed out into the blood through the small intestine and also the large intestine. In fact, what happens in the large intestine is that waste food spends around about 12 hours in the large intestine so that as much water can be absorbed out of it as possible. So, most of the water is absorbed through the large intestine. So that's how water gets into the body. It does not get into the body via the lungs like some people think and it does not go into the body via the skin like some people think. However, those two organs are actually important for water output or water loss. So output, there's actually a number of routes in which water is lost from the body. So uh, we've mentioned the urinary bladder here. Um, so one of the ways is through urine. So uh, water gets filtered through the kidneys. Now, it's hard for me to draw the kidneys here because I've drawn the, um, the intestines, but the kidneys are around about here. So essentially your lower back, and they are at the back. So that's where the, uh, the blood is filtered through the kidneys, and that's where the amount of water that gets passed into the bladder is controlled through the antidiuretic hormone stays in the, kid, the, the bladder and then it gets passed as urine. As I mentioned, some water is also lost through feces. F-A-E-C-E-S, feces. So there are two. Now, there's actually two more as well. So whilst the skin is not involved in input, it is involved in output through sweat. So sweating or perspiration is another key way in which water is lost. Interestingly, perspiration is water loss, but it's also the loss of salt as well. And because of course, sweat is salty. The last one is through the lungs. So when we breathe out, we actually breathe out water vapor. So through the nose and also through the mouth, we actually breathe out water vapor. So breathing out or expiration is another way of describing it. So two inputs and four outputs of water from the body.